Welcome to episode 27 of Royal O Comics Party. This is the Truth Dart Spooktacular. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, today we thought we would talk a little bit about comics. I know we don't normally like to do that at all. Yeah, I am too. I've been fretting and worrying all day. <sighs> but I feel like probably we've never even gone into the very basic stuff about yeah. how we make comics at all. So yeah. we have... This, we got together all of the Truth Dart books that we've put together so far mm -hmm. that are out. Um, there is, uh, you can come around this way, Amy. Right this way. Please trip on a cord. Try not to. <laughs> Hashtag we, sorry, Amy. We've covered a lot of time. Truth Dart is an old franchise by this point. Yeah, it's what was this one? 2010? Yeah, it was being and this worked one on says, in 2000. This is the promo for a book that was supposed to be bigger and come out in 2010, which still hasn't. You, you were selling this one as, as though it was the coupon to get you a discount on the yeah. other book. Oh, I still will honor that. Don't okay. <laughs> it's just, you know, it never will come out. I mean, it will. The pages are there, they're almost done. It'll be huge. It's going to be a giant tome. But just not yet. Not yet. Well, you, I think you have way more, um, you have a lot more sketches and pages that have never been scanned mm -hmm. into the computer than I have. Like, I have these done, but I have nothing else. Right. <laughs> like, I, I have, there's a couple, maybe a couple pages that didn't actually get turned into you, books. You're the guy who makes every other person hate them. Like, oh, I made, I wrote a book. And then I published that book, and everyone hates that. Everyone wants to think, if you're going to be a writer, you got to write. You write every day. You write eight hours every day. And, and then you finally you edit it down, and you, you have a book, and it gets turned down by publishers every time, over and over. And Faulkner wallpapered his whole room with rejection letters. I've got it down to a science now right. because now you just write it. Right. <laughs> and I think we're better off because I prefer the writing and you prefer the drawing. Yeah, or that's definitely. What was, no, I was I thinking like. about that. I was, yeah, no, that's definitely true. I was thinking about if I was sentenced to do one of those things forever. I think the, the drawing, I would definitely prefer to be doing that for the rest yeah. of my life. And I get, I, I am so protective of these characters that if some if it's if you're right if anyone else is writing about them or thinking about them it makes me so crazy paranoid like we're gonna break the brand or like we're gonna go <laughs> off model so which one is the it most off model crazy. of the like so you and i came out with these two first basically mm -hmm. right in yeah. like 2010 these two are the first and we ones. we had these out um we took them to where did we go first? Where was the first comics things that we went to? Well, the first convention we did was Motor City. Yeah, that's Wasn't true. It? Yeah, which is very inappropriate yeah. to go to that one. Super inappropriate. It was all action figures. But we that was that was where we I I don't know that's we where got we a did Conan comic the most indie book we, we picked up then sharpened Conan. our sharpened our teeth like trying to sell the like action figure guys you know I think that was far as like cash. That went home with me in my pocket. Motor City was still the biggest one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to say, oh, you had cash in your pocket after that? <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. This, like, okay. So anyway, this, this is the one. This one was mostly drawn. Um, I wrote Andrew this one. This one was mostly done uh, in Leo's mm -hmm. in the same coffee shop where we ended up having Royal Oak Comics party eventually. Um, it's basically a kind of drinking adventure. My sense of like time scale is insane though. Mm -hmm. So like I've never been able to have like here's something that happened on this day and then skip forward like a week or skip forward like a year or any kind of storytelling device like that. So this is really just like almost here is everything that happens right in a row. With yeah. Like the only part where it skips but, any time is like a blackout sleeping. Yeah. And this book is the events of this 
are the events of this. It's just their two different tellings of it. Yes. Where this is, was supposed to be like super, like, I don't know what you'd say, decompressed. Where it's like, all, yeah. it takes a lot of pages to just cover a couple points. Where this is so tightly controlled, I mean, why would I even finish this when that one is so more elo much more eloquent? Well, because this, look, like, here. Let's look at this one. Because oh, this, this has the entire family history and, and family background and, and everything. And you, Mom the, moved to the middle of nowhere with Trevor the cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's basically like this scary cross. Yeah, that's supposed to be his, his hat. hat. Yeah. <laughs> Dad drank oh, vodka man. until his liver died. Some of the stuff, the characters are supposed to be kind of us and kind of people we know. Yeah. And it's all mixed together to just pull out the the little nugget of relatability or or the meaningful thing. Like. Yeah, well, I like that though. But it makes me like the thing that I like about doing it is that I, I don't have to think about it that much. Like really, I when I'm doing this one, I didn't pencil anything. I didn't have like even a script or a, a storyboard or anything. I mean, I yes, storyboarded a I page or two. I feel my resentment growing. Even I'm not just like this, <laughs> that statement. <laughs> well, whatever. I'm I mean, what I I know. <laughs> you know, but I like, love you. I know, I love you too. <laughs> but I, I mean, that's the reason I like doing all this stuff is because you can like. Because it's coming out of people that you actually know, and it's coming like out of your self, mm -hmm. you can kind of just sit down and you know spit it out. Some of them, like you have to, for me, like it has to build up inside of you for a long time, and then you just like you have enough to fill that page, and then you have to fret and have a lot of anxiety for another. Like there were like weeks that went by in between some of the pages. Drawing I think. the pages. Yeah. So I don't know, but. It, that's one of the things that feels good about making books is, I don't know, getting getting all of that stuff out of your body and, uh, I don't know, getting evaporating some of the cortisol out of your system, I guess. I think that, I don't know. I hate it. I hate it. There's nothing that's pleasurable about making comics to me. Really? It's like, I like the idea of, I like the idea of controlling the characters and making sure they are staying true to the the people and the events that we're kind of documenting. Yeah. But making them way more vague or w making them relatable on, you know, a wider scale. Yeah. Because not everybody's dad drank themselves to death and not everyone had to struggle with, like, mom's getting remarried and I'm yeah, uncomfortable yeah. with that new boyfriend. You know, mm -hmm. A lot of people have that story, but not everyone. And I'd like to be able to figure out a way to make it you know, relatable, even if it's something that you haven't gone through, you can relate to it. But then also stylish, where yours, you have got this, you know, your layout is very good, and then I'm more like, I will fixate on like the recurring brutal rectangle thing and it's all with the halftone cut out, you know. And, you know, I will just find a style and then I'll burn it down. <laughs> I know, well, I like that though because you can see it running through the book. It ties, it ties everything yeah. that happens in there together. So even if it's jumping around, the art the art keeps it all on point. That's you know? what I'm it's trying to on... do with this. This is this. It took ages to make these pages, and even longer to kind of shade them in. But like, okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five. Is like eight pages, but there is almost 300 more. And I've been saying this since 2010. Uh -huh. There's 300 more pages to this. They just I've haven't ever come out. I know. I've seen a lot of them in your sketchbooks and everything. And your style, like your style, is that you are drawing things like on a full page. Each mm -hmm. one of those panels is like this giant page that you end up shrinking down mm -hmm. to the size of a postage stamp. Like mine is like the opposite of like drawing it and either doing it exactly the same size in a book or like blowing it up. 
But um, I don't know. I, I what you're saying about like the characters and like the scenarios and everything in here being based on people we know and like based on us kind of. Mm-hmm. For me, anyway, it's been. I think about it differently now because that is not my lifestyle as much anymore. Right, of we've come just, a long way. I mean, because when we were true, like when we were first making this, the <laughs> this was very c- close to like the right. actual lifestyle of basically just uh, I don't know blackout drinking, lots and, of puking, and lots of, lot of like, puking, accidentally, <laughs> <laughs> accidentally having some type of something yeah um yeah and now i feel kind of like inauthentic or something to want to continue yeah about those types yeah, of yeah, things yeah. when now our lifestyles are like grown-up style and like yeah gone far like uh, 180 away from that type of nihilistic drinking and like mm-hmm. non-stop partying which is why now i think i want to go further into like the vague style of you know, life is confusing, and my teeth hurt, and lunch is, uh, you know, difficult to eat. I think that's perfect, though. And that's, uh, I mean, that's what's interesting to me now, is basically just... Complaining. <laughs> general <laughs> complaints, complaints like health complaints. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which, but like this, and then again, this one touch, this Truth Dart number two, short, short book, touches on the teeth. Thing. Yeah, and then you've got. I mean, you don't know if we want to break continuity and uh, sure, order I don't the know. Books, but like, then that. Your what is the one, order of the books? Um, you <laughs> you have implied that there's a definite order to the books, but I. <laughs> well, I'm I being think, a terrible brand representative right now, but I don't know what the order is of the books. You'd need okay, so this one would be a small section at the very kind of beginning of the timeline. Okay. Because the timeline covers, like, Ruth's rise to kind of, like, scene queen status, and then at the height of her, or at maybe just after the height of her status, just at the downturn, she befriends Roger, and they become BFFs, and then they slowly insulate into their own world where... They both are sacrificing almost all of their friends and social life just to hang out with each other, realizing that they relate to each other and are f- real. They're finding what real friendship is, you yeah, know, in yeah. being friends just with each other, and they're becoming uncooler and more kind of drinky. And you know, you could go out to the party and get loaded and have a good time, but when you're just all, two people alone, blacking out regularly, it becomes so much more bizarre. Like, this mm-hmm. would happen at the beginning. This is her rise. She's having a house party, and people are there, and it's, you know, fun. Yeah, there's no Roger in this one. There's no Roger in that one. But then this one covers probably the the honeymoon phase of their right, friendship. Right, right. The most fun, like, bopping around, going everywhere together, going to the store, and, you know, living at the bar. Mm-hmm. Joking around, hanging out with no one else ever. Right. So this, these are all like um, kind of little strip versions, uh, mo- mostly like gag-based, jokey type of stuff. Um, but th- this is like I don't know. This is the way that I thought it was best to show them together because I feel like they're they are both like they're like joking around together and having fun. Yeah, you know. And, and it's, that, it's, it's like, and it's the way that we hang out, where it is joking around and having fun, but it's also, like, complaining right. <laughs> a lot. And I think this covers a lot of, and I think this is the one that kind of almost breaks the brand the most, in my opinion. Because yeah. it is, you know, jokes, and it's three panels and a punchline, and then, you know, you can take the liberties... Because you've got to make that third panel the punchline, uh-huh. you know. But there's still also the stuff that's so exactly, perfectly on model. Like when she her fingers wiggle and it's a King Gordy joke out of nowhere. <laughs> With that's the only time like rap jokes have been made in a Truth Dart 
thing, and it's but it's so perfect where they would both kind of like get it, you know, but nobody else in the nobody in the reading nobody reading it I don't would know. follow it. No probably. one has ever read that and said, "Ha, ha every, all I've ever got." But that's that when is, what the fuck is this one? That's about? when Ruth and Roger are you and me. Sometimes, right. sometimes they're you and me. Sometimes they're other people. Sometimes they're whatever. This is the one that's probably the most pleasurable to read for a person who doesn't know the books or us. We should give it in that style where like you're supposed to watch all the Star Wars movies where it isn't with the first one first. It's like you j jump around between them. So like you watch the one that you'll get you into it first and then go backwards. So what did we say? I shouldn't have admitted that there, I have no idea what the timeline is because you're doing a very good job well, of explaining so it. So this one happens at the beginning and that one covers a lot of the good times of their friendship. And then I would say that one would happen toward the end, maybe at three quarters. But that one could also be just non-canonical where it's a separate This one also thing. kind of implies that they're apart mm -hmm. and that, you know, they're not hanging out all the time anymore. Mm -hmm. It's a little more of like a <laughs> bachelor -y thing yeah. as far as her life goes is like living on her own, not hanging out with anyone, just being around the cat all the time. <laughs> and then this is one that kind of is one of the things I was gunning for stylistically is like the storybook pacing and the storybook layout where it's the image and the sentence and that's every page is just the image and the sentence and yeah you know going to uh where the wild thing you know wild things style yeah and i think like that i like i like drawing in that style too like because i think i like to linger on every single mm -hmm. line and I think like going past this one into the, the one that we just finished or we're finishing right now like that works out perfectly because the, the style that I like is that really kind of linger on this stay on mm -hmm. one frame the next line has its own complete drawing a whole page mm -hmm. for every single line of the script which and then I if mean, every you, line needs a drawing, you have to write in an efficient way. Right. So you don't have to draw 20,000 drawings. You know, right. you just draw the most important. Ones. Just 50. <laughs> right. Okay, and then this truth dart number two has more page. Also, this one is like a short one that has more pages. Yeah. This is the beginning of the end. This is Ruth and Roger fall apart. And there's more of that, unpublished, unscanned in these books, which should Can be Can we up. look at a yeah, few? Is it possible? Do. It's... Uh, yeah. Like, you have, like, another five books in well, those things. <laughs> We're nice and friendly, and people like us, don't they? I know, it sounded stupid as soon as I said it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still in this just brush, simple line yeah. style. But they're drinking more and they're having less intimacy and more just want to kill emotion and blackout. That's and usually like the trajectory that that style of hanging out right. takes from my research. From our research. So this one will be the kind of the beginning of the end. And then this one, when it's done, when I just put it together and print the pages, this will just be the arc where everything kind of happens within mm. it. Mm -hmm. Where there's pages about like Ruth's friend who has an abusive boyfriend and like there's a whole other story that happens with the abusive boyfriend being crazy and like, but this guy in the bathroom in this book is, is that guy, you know? And so you learn all the characters and they are, there's a web that ties everything together and there is a chronology, but then also they stand alone and they just, there's the story. Yeah, you get yeah. a little feel, you get a little feeling for whatever is happening in any book. And they're like, you could read them in any order and you don't have to have the whole, Chronology, and I really like that. 
Am I talking like an infomercial or an insane person? I don't know. No, you just uh, convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so the most recent one that we've been working on, you wrote the script for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I wanted it. <laughs> you wanted it. So I gave you the script, and I gave you a list of sentences. Yeah. And you were like, is this the new Truth Dart book? And I was like, I guess so. And then so, I said, I'm taking it now. <laughs> yeah. So I wasn't even sure that it was done being written. And then it was What do you think now? <laughs> it's, it's done now. God. Okay. <laughs> As soon as you were like, uh, I'm going to just take this then, I was like, my responsibility is complete. <laughs> I have a Google Drive document that's like 70 pages of just truth dart ideas. Can and I just that was like that? four pages worth. All the sentences that <laughs> became this new book. Well, and boy, oh boy, is it pretty beautiful. Oh, yeah. I'm, well, I, I don't know. I loved your... I loved your script. If we can just keep doing this forever, I'll be happy. So if you, as many scripts as you can give me, I will illustrate them because I love this, how this book came out. But this is the first, this isn't even stapled yeah, this together. Is the, this, is, this is the very first copy that looks pretty much like it's going to mm -hmm. look. And it's got the handmade screen printed cover with the like super thick ink on it. It's got the, oh my god, the title page. <laughs> uh, but we've got like this box over here. That box is full of all of the actual interiors of the the comics. <laughs> I'm sure that's a compelling shot. Oh, the piece of cardboard. Yeah, a big no, piece no, of card. That's a big that. piece of cardboard. It's just a stack of cardboard. It's a stack of, a stack of cardboard. Would you like to buy my new comic? And you just hand them a piece of cardboard. It's conceptual art. But, oh my god, dude. Like, you did an awesome job on the screen printing. It, it feels amazing. I think it's, like, it's everything that I want to put out I, into the I, world as a comic I book. I think we're both going. I think I'm very proud so far, and I think it's, it's a substantial book. It, 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 it gives you all the emotion feels that you'd want out of, like, a serious comic, and... It feels good in your hand, and this blue paper is just beautiful. It's got this sparse, sparse child children's bookness to it, but it's gr a little gross, and it's a little sexy, and it's a little yeah, and it's not mean, but no, it's lonely, it's not at all. but it's kind of. It's just every all the little emotions, all the little peripheral emotions that I yeah. want in Truth Dart. This is really good at having them, and it. This also is one of the tells of like what era it's supposed to be taking place in. Mm -hmm. So because it's not the present, yes, it's a little bit in the past. Yes, but I liked um, I liked from from the script that you had. It's got the here is the actual part of them hanging. It's like the stuff that you don't see in this book. Mm -hmm. This is all the almost like the down times mm -hmm. in between mm -hmm. like the jokey yes. like going out and hanging out parts. Like this is where you look at them for a long time hanging out together indoors not going anywhere. Yes. <laughs> like that's I don't know. It it felt like when I read the script, like it felt like the part we hadn't shown yet. Yes. And so that's that's why I, I liked it so much. I think. And uh, everybody got to start saving their pennies because yes. every one of these old Truth Drive books, cheap, cheap. This is going to be the most expensive book yes. you have ever bought in your life. Seven hundred fifty dollars each. Yes. Unsigned. Unsigned. I don't even know at this point. I yeah, I'm ready to charge four thousand dollars for it. It just at this point. It just I've been to Kinko so many times. <laughs> just doing the proofs. We went through all these different methods of half toning and putting it, putting in the shading into this, and like I went through a lot of like delusional ideas about what it was gonna look like, and thank God we just kept changing it until it looked good. 
We're giving away the whole book yeah. right now, so probably uh, shut that shit yeah. down. Also, it, it feels good. It looks good. It has it has interesting pacing, which is another... Just, just like wanted to roll out the storybook idea, this one now is the first of the very unusual pacing, where it is slow, yeah. but then it's also suddenly you're at a different time, but it's weirdly... Time. Yeah. The time that you go to a different time a is weirdly timed. Yes, yeah. there's a big jump. There's a huge jump. So, I don't know. I'm very proud. You should be very Me too. proud. <laughs> uh, I am. Well, I think uh, that's all the time we got exactly to talk our about time. ourselves. Yes. Thank you for listening to us yeah. talk about ourselves. Thanks for listening, and uh, we'll see you next time on Royal Oak Comics Party. Good night. <laughs>